Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day in your presence. Lord, we have submitted ourselves at your feet to study. Lord, we ask that the fountain of living water will flow from your word this morning and grant us life that we may live your life. Holy Ghost, guide us as we study. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, we welcome you to our daily devotion for today. Thursday, October 3rd. We are still celebrating our independence. Nigeria is 59 years old today. Glory to his name. It calls for thanksgiving and praise. And so in our devotion today, we shall be considering the topic, the true marks of genuine leaders. The true marks of genuine leaders. And our text is taken from 1 Peter chapter 5, 1 to 6. 1 Peter chapter 5. The elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder, and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for fear to look up, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, Ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. This is the word of God. People of God, as we meditate in today's devotion, our devotion today centers on leaders and leadership. But to do justice to this topic, we shall consider two strong words in our topic, Mark and Genuine. Mark, in a simpler term, is a symbol of identification or an indication of ownership. Mark is a distinguishing trait or quality. It is characteristic or feature of something. Marks can be true or false. Somebody can be a true marks or false marks. And because there are many counterfeit marks on so many church leaders today, the Bible is here with us to unveil true marks indeed. On the other hand, the adjective genuine simply means actual real, true, sincere, honest, and not false or fake. When we talk about genuine, we mean being free from hypocrisy, being free from pretense. That is to say, there are many leaders in the church today whose marks are fake, whose marks are counterfeit, whose characters, features, and activities are not genuine, but hypocritic and 
pretentious. People of God, from our topic and our test today, today's passage calls for the need to mirror our leaders and our leadership styles and motives in the light of the Bible. Why many of our leaders today are money changers and merchants, even in the household of God? They see the ministry as a means of making money and dominating subordinates. Peter tells us a leader is humble and a servant of others. A leader accepts the task of being ahead, that is leading, without the ambition to get ahead. You assume the task of being ahead, not the ambition of getting ahead in so doing. People of God, we are tempted to measure leaders in terms of their successes, but the scriptures measure leaders in terms of their faithfulness in the midst of suffering. Success is not the test of leadership. Suffering is a true test of leadership. When we introduce a Christian speaker, we often tell the audience of their educational achievements and qualifications, their success in ministry, usually measured in numbers, and their acceptance by men. Peter, we have none of this. And neither should we, if truly we follow the steps of the Bible. We must desist from thinking of leadership as an honor rather than a means of expressing humility. Dear people of God, a genuine Christian leader is a shepherd or overseer, taken from the term. Sheep herd. Sheep herd. He makes he takes care of the sheep as a shepherd, as an overseer. He tends the sheep. He guides and guards the sheep. He provides pastures to the sheep as a pastor. When Peter was writing to the elders, he meant the pastors and spiritual guides of the church as a fellow elder and as an eyewitness of the transfiguration Peter was reminding Christian leaders what the Lord Jesus warned him about in Luke chapter 21 verse 15 to 17 the Lord said Peter do you love me? do you truly love me? tend my sheep Three times, the master called the attention of Peter on the urgency and the heartbeat of the master to take care of the sheep. At each question and warning, Peter would respond, Yes, I love you. Do you truly love me? Tend the sheep. This was the message and the warning Peter was trying to pass on to other elders in the church who are also shepherds and overseers. People of God, I bring out what I call from our test, three, about seven marks of a genuine leader. About seven marks of a genuine leader. I use an acronym that will make it easy for us to understand. I call it the SSCE in church history. S S C E C H H S S C E in church history. Number one, two marks of genuine leaders. Number one, every genuine leader must have the first letter C, which I call care. Care. A genuine leader must care for God's flock, not their own. Locker, not their own personal aggrandizement. He must care for God's flock, not their own. He must not be greedy for money. Number two, S, serve, 
service. He must be eager to serve others, not out of obligation. Number three, every genuine leader must have the mark of another C. Concern for what they can offer and not for what they can get. The Bible said, not lording it over those entrusted to you. Number four is the letter E. Example. Every genuine leader must be an example to the flock, not by force. Number five, submission. Every good leader, every genuine leader must be submissive to elders. If you cannot be a good disciple, you cannot be a good leader. You must be submissive to elders. And number six is humility towards one another. Every genuine leader must wear what I call garment of humility towards others. Garment of humility towards others. Others should see you and see humility in you. And number seven is also humility or obedience. What I call humbly obeying God's instructions. Regardless of whatever circumstances. You must humbly obey divine injunction. Just as, I, uh, just as we see in one of our devotionals of, the, uh, of last month. Whereby prophet Jeremiah was prophesying the mind of God. In spite of what Zedekiah was expecting to hear. Every genuine leader must humbly obey God's instruction. No matter the condition and circumstances around. People of God, as we bring today's devotion to a conclusion, what mark do you bear as a leader? The true mark of a genuine leader in the church and the society. Leadership should be seen as an opportunity to empty ourselves in service to others rather than a sense of being fulfilled. It's a service. It's a privilege. It's a privilege to walk with the Lord. It, it should not be seen as an opportunity to see yourself you are fulfilled, you are above others. Rather an opportunity to empty yourself in the service to others. Service to humanity. Dear people of God, genuine leaders, therefore, should see themselves as shepherds, as overseers to the flock of God. Your target is towards the welfare of the flock. And Jesus will always ask you, do you truly love me? Do you truly love me? If you truly love me, tend my sheep. Take care of my flock. Feed my lamb. When you take care of God's flock, God will inevitably take care of you. Genuine leaders are called to the ministry of shepherding the flock. Being overseers, not because you must, but because you are willing as God wants you to be. The true marks of genuine leaders. Out of these seven I brought from the scripture, do you show care? Do you show concern? Do you lead by example? Are you hypocritic in your administration? My prayer for us this morning is that the Lord will help us to bear the fruit of the Spirit. For when we bear the fruit of the Spirit, it will confer on us the true marks of genuine leadership. May the Lord bless us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, make me a leader after your heart in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, Lord, we ask 
that you turn the heart of our leaders around. Leadership of the church and the leadership of the society. The heart of every king is in your hand. Turn around every heart of our leaders to be a true mark of genuine leadership that your name may be glorified. Thank you, dear Lord. As we go about our today's activities and the rest of the month, Lord, we pray that this ember month shall bring us blessings and not cause. May you decorate our lives with all it takes to make genuine leadership in our ministries, in your church, and in our families, even in our nation, to the praise and glory of your holy name, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. Join us by this time, next time. And you have no cause to jubilate in God's presence. May the Lord decorate our lives this day with what it takes to announce their destiny. Have a blissful day in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.